In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use smart templates in Fusion 360 to enable drawing automation. So let's create a smart template and then we can explore what they do and how they work. So to do this, I'm just going to go and create a new drawing template and I'm going to base this on an existing template that I have. So I'm going to choose my existing A2 template and I'm going to say OK. So it opens up my existing A2. You'll see my drawing border and title block have come through. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place down these placeholder views. So I'm going to choose a placeholder for my base view. And you'll see that it's coming off of an assembly representation. And that's OK for the first one. And I'm then going to place a set of projected views as well. And I'm going to hit OK over there. Now, the next thing I want to do is place a table. So I'm going to snap that to the top corner. And I can choose in the table whether I want this to be first level or all level. So I'm going to choose all level. The other thing you'll have noticed when I place the view is that the scale is coming through as automatic. So it's automatically scaling these views for me. All right, we're going to add another sheet. I'm going to repeat the process, but this time I've got more options. So now I'm going to do this for a component. So I'm going to place my component and I'm going to repeat the process pretty much the same way. I'm going to say OK. Now, if you want to make any minor changes, you know, for instance, I want to make the isometric views um, shaded. We can do that quite easily. And then they go. Right, next one along, we're going to place a folded component. So this will be for sheet metal. So we can quickly do the same sort of thing as before, add in our views and maybe set our isometric view to shaded. Then we're going to add another one where we're going to go through and we're going to say, well, actually, in this instance, we want a flat pattern. And maybe for the flat pattern, all I want is the bend order annotation table. And on the last one, I'm going to go and create a storyboard. And I'll place my storyboard down. And again, we can place a table, go all level. Alrighty. So with that done, I'm going to save my smart template. And I'm going to call it smart template. Okay. So let's have a look at what I've got available. This is a knife I'm sure you've seen before. I've made some minor changes to the structure of it. So there's an assembly for the blade. There's an assembly for the casing, which includes the rubber grips and the top level assembly. So if I say create drawing and I choose my smart template, you'll see I can choose either first level or all level. In this instance, I'm going to go all level and it's going to spit out around 10 drawings. So we're going to let the smart template go off and create me my drawing. Right, so you'll see these drawings getting created and these drawings are being created based on my selection earlier. So here's my initial uh, GA with my isometric view. Here's my animations workspace with a parts list at all level. Here's my component view as we move through each of those being placed on the drawing. So really quick way of getting all of my drawing views down. Right, for the next one, I've got a sheet metal box and the sheet metal box also has an animation workspace and in there we have a blue box. So let's jump back to the design workspace and we're gonna create a new drawing, smart template, and I'm gonna say okay. Just like before, smart templates jump into action in the background and they populate our drawings. So there's my initial view. There's my flat pattern with my bend order annotation table and my animation workspace. So I'm sure you'll agree smart templates are awesome for giving you a jump start and adding automation to your drawing workflows.